Hello, Mother, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Well, I'm doing wonderful. I'd like for you to tell me what you're doing because I just got an alert on my phone that you took $500 out of your account. Where are you? Man, that 500 is the casino. You either win, you lose, but you have fun. Are you drinking? Why, no. I have to buy one on the Indian reservation. Mama. If I'm not free, I'm going to be drinking. When are you coming home? Before it gets dark. I'm going to call you every hour and a half, and as long as I know you're okay, I'll leave you alone for an hour and a half. I'm not answering his phone every hour, okay? No, that's not okay. We have a plan here. I've got to hang up now because I'm going to lose my place at the table. Bye. Black check again. <laughs> Woo, we I got another winner. We're going to tear this table up. Maybe if this is a 10. Yes. Oh, man, man, man. Wrong way. Hey, what are you doing? 21. Nice. I'm playing. Nice. You're supposed to be with Chase. I got him in a secure place. He's going to wait on me so I can play a little bit, Todd. I'm going to double down. Mama, it's what? time to go get something to eat. Take that and go buy you something. I don't want to go buy me something. I want you to come on. Take this and go. I'm not. Now, come on. I don't have time for this. I'm busy trying to keep Julie calm with Savannah's pageant. It's a very simple job. Do not let her out of your sight. Hold his hand. Hold her hand. You know what it is? I'm not playing. This bull Why did you dark us where, where, where are we supposed to go? Well, damn, why don't you wait on me? Hell, I'm trying to like us a dollar, and you damn want to narc somebody out. You know that I monitor everything about you. Well, right. you're just wasting time. So you know that any time you move money from your account, I get an alert on my phone. What are you doing with it? Well, while I'm out and about, I might need a little bit of money. Because when I go to casino, they're not going to give me any to play for nothing. Mama, I don't think that gambling is condoned in the Bible. Well, it, I've never read where it said you couldn't. But Mama, you go out here and you drink. Oh, I do not. I might have a little drink. But I know what I'm doing. Mom, why don't you practice trying to be a good, decent Christian woman I am. and just leave the sins behind you? Well, you know what? I don't have to listen to this all the time. What the hell happened to your foot? Now I get up. Are you for real right now? You want me to get you something to drink? Mama, how did you blow your foot out? When you kept calling me, I had to get up and answer before you sent the police after me. So then I scooted from the table and I twisted my darn foot. <laughs> That's it. She's done. No more gambling, no more drinking, hell, no more moving around. I cannot leave you here unattended with a broke foot. You're going to have to move in with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to keep fussing at me. I'm going to tell you where this boot's going to be. Did she just threaten me? No, that was a promise. Come on. Don't make so much going to make it tell the neighbors we're leaving. Of course, Nanny and Grayson want to break out. Why do you think Savannah and I left? Why? Because Daddy's always in our business. Finally. Come on. Hurry up. Nanny, I can't pick the suitcase up. Just leave it. Come on. Help me, help me. Nanny, if either one of y'all open your mouth ah. and snitch on me, I'll never help you again. Don't worry. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Don't get in here until you agree on that. I'm not going to tell you. Grayson, you always tell. No, don't. Well, you better not. Chase, hurry up. Oh, God. That, oh, God. Down. That's Daddy. What happened? Get down, Nanny. You got to get lower. Yep, that's him. Nanny, get down. I'm far let go. What are you doing in my garage? I was just coming to see you. You don't call to make sure somebody's home before you come? Well, I was just coming by to see you. I was just visiting. No. We're screwed. 
he closed the garage door and I can't get out of here. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Are you me right now? What are you doing hunkered <laughs> down in the car? Grayson, <laughs> what are you doing? And look what I found in the garage. The three stooges, Larry, Curly, and Mama. Why are you over here messing around with her? Daddy, I'm just caught up in a crossfire right now, so y'all got to get out of my car, and y'all deal with this We're inside. not going anywhere. This Range Rover's going down 75. Open the door, or we're going to run over it. I'm not running. I'm no, not messing my car up. You're not. This is not no getaway. This ain't no heist. This is the most pathetic breakout that I've ever seen in my life. Grayson, out of the car. Get out. I'll be glad when you retire from being a general. I'm not going to ever retire from being a general. Come on. Come on, Grayson. Back to prison. Come on, Gimp. All right, well, will you let your garage up? No, I'm not letting the garage up because I'm not finished with you. What did I do? Hey. Hey. Hello. Oh, hey, hey that's my son. Hey, hey Ty. Scott Holliday. Hey, Ty. Nice how are you? you? Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Julie. Hey, Julie. Nice how are you? to meet you. Good to meet you. That's it. Uh, so, y'all want to sit? Um, yeah. You want some coffee? No, I'm good. I'm good. So, what are you up to? Just having Meeting coffee. Meeting a friend and having <laughs> coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> and as if it could not have gotten worse, apparently my mother has signed up for ChristianMingle.com. I'm sure the guy that was there with my mom was a very nice gentleman, but he's not my dad. She's entitled to a coffee. Not a cannoli. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Okay. Just excuse us just for a second. Sure. It's a beautiful night tonight. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Mom, you can't just be meeting random strangers. Well, we're in a puppy place, so we're fine. You know, just talking to someone. Mm. What do you think? I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. My mother has never dated anyone in her entire life other than my dad. Who's gonna break bad at 69, going on 75 on Christian Mingle? Maybe Faith. Maybe not. So did y'all, y'all just got through eating? Yes, yeah. we did. We yes, just finished we having dinner. And speaking of which, we need yes. to get these back home to the kids. I know. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. All right. All right. So you'll call you call me when you leave? So uh -huh. All right, I love you. I love you. Bye. See ya. Well, that was fun that they stopped by to visit. Yeah, they always find you. <laughs> Todd, I want to thank you for being our driver. How did y'all find the city winery? I Googled it. Hello, how are we oh, doing today? A couple thank wine you. flights for you ladies. Oh, well, thank Just slide you. behind you. Cheers. Cheers. Have fun. <laughs> this is my favorite. Tastes is pretty good, Todd. Cheers. Cheers. Would you like some cheese? Pardon my reach. Could I have another wine flight? Please? Another round for the two yes. of you? Yeah, please. Mama, y'all don't need no more because y'all done gone through that. And Francis, I'm telling you right now, I ain't never seen you drink. I know. That's the first for everything. Cheers, Faith. Round, round two. two. Y'all need to eat some of that cheese and crackers because y'all are going to be drunk. Aren't you the designated driver? Yes, honey, I'm the designated driver, but that doesn't mean the designated driver wants to drive drunks. Well, we're not going to be drunk. You're I think got... that's what a designated driver, I think that's what they are. That's what they do. I think I'm gonna take some home with me. No, you can eat what, you just eat what you want here. I We're gonna take some for later, right? That's right. I can't believe that I'm on Granny's spring break. Well, quit killing my good time. I'm not killing your good time. She's taking it a bag home with her. Todd, I can't understand why you don't want me to have fun, because I have earned it. Mama, listen, I want you to have fun. I just don't want you to be having fun while you're drunk. Well, it sounds fun to me. Ladies, can I get you another flight? No, they're flying high enough as it is. I think we'll just take the check. Okay. No, uh-uh. We're gonna have another flight. All right, I'll check back with you guys. All right, thank you. Mama, I'm not gonna sit here while y'all get sauced up. Todd, we're having fun. You rushed us out of the thrift store. So now then, you're trying to rush us out of the winery. 
So don't worry about us. You go on. I'm not doing this. Are you go on. Do, are you going with me? Well, yeah, I guess. I'm going with you. Yeah, All she right. has to go because you tell her to. We don't. You see what liquid courage she's got. Okay. I'm at the end of my rope. I can't go anymore with all of this stuff with my mother and my aunt. Make sure you don't steal the glasses and the cheese board and everything else. All that's not fair. Bye. Bye. You're being ridiculous. You thought driving your mom and Francis around was going to be so easy. They're older. No, they're old. But little did you know, they actually want to have fun. And you're just mad because now it's taking up too much of your time. Julie, I don't sit with people that get drunk, and especially old ladies. They're wine tasting. Chanel, another fly. Chase, what are you doing? Nothing. Um, I'm gonna call Mama and get her stirring. Hey. Has Chase been over there? He ain't been over here. Leave me on the landline and call and see if you can get Chase because he ain't answering my call. I just like to screw with people. And I mean, I've been prank calling my mother for years. I try to stave off Alzheimer's by keeping my mother alert at all times. He just wants to aggravate the living you know what out of her. Hello. Where are you at? I'm at a girl's house. OK, bye. All right, bye. love you, bye. Mama? He answered. He's at some girl's house. You know good and well that they're probably having sex. Probably. Yeah, they like an old dog has to be itchy in heat. When that thing gets to itchy, he thinks he's gonna be doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me see who this is called. It's Chase, hold on. Nanny. What? I rear-ended somebody leaving this girl's house. You have a smoke crack or something? Call the damn police. I already drove off. Well, hell, you're going to jail, Mama. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, bye. She hung up on me. Hello? Hey. My damn grandkids is doing all this bunch of bullshit. I think I'll go ahead and try to find me a vacuum or something and take me about three of them. Call me when you hear from me. All right, ma'am. <laughs> Mama, you just turned right there and did not even stop. I did. There's a stop sign right there that you didn't even stop at. Well, I guess I better stop. Here's the police. Is he getting out of the car? Yeah. What the f do you want me to do, Todd? I'm so nervous, I'm gonna f go blind. Hello, ma'am, how are you? Fine, thank you. So I just found out the other day, my mother is driving around on a suspended license for failure to appear in traffic court. Your tags, when I ran them, it shows that the owner of the car has a warrant for her arrest. Luckily for me, I have a few friends on the sheriff's department that's gonna help me scare my mother completely us. Why don't you come on, step on out for me? I'm gonna get out, we're on. You put your hands on the car? All right. I'm gonna put these in front of you so it'll be a little bit more comfortable for you, okay? You are placed into custody right now. You have the right to remain silent. This is the most terrible thing I've ever faced in my life. I have concocted a lot of schemes in my day mm -hmm. of getting back at people. But this one right here, it's the crown jewel. Let's go, go ahead and talk to your mom, man. Yes, sir. What did she do? She's 73. It's, a, it's she, a traffic violation. It is. It's a traffic violation, but if you don't take care of that matter, the judge puts a bench warrant out for your arrest. She's definitely going to jail. Mama, tell them to go to hell. We'll just go pay our fine. No, I'm not going to do that. Well, then I'm going to tell you this is all a joke. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> this is terrible. He's the biggest asshole I ever known. Nanny! Can I get a hug from you? <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Hello. Hey, sunshine. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Well, I've seen better days. Yeah, well, so have I. Here I go. I'm ready to put this prank into action. Well, good luck. You better be ready. So what are you doing today? Well, I got a mess. What do you mean a mess? I went to the casino the other night. You know, I ain't never got a marker since I've been going to a casino. But I had a, a real what? Good, a marker, you know, where you borrow money? You from the casino? You borrowed money from a casino? Yeah, I ran out of money. So I just got me a marker and I lost. So I need you to help me out a little bit. How much do you owe them? About 20,000. What the hell is wrong with you?
is this really happening right now? My mother knows to not go and gamble that kind of money. I mean, a hundred here, a hundred there. She'll lie about five, but 20,000? I mean, at this point, we either euthanize my mother or we send her to Gamblers Anonymous. I mean, those are the only two options that you have. You owe somebody $20,000? Man, I'm in big trouble. They are gonna take my car if I don't pay up. Oh my God, this is not The Sopranos. Are you gonna help me or not? I am dealing with Savannah right now and I will deal with your later. Okay, bye. Bye. $20,000. The hell was she damn betting on for $20,000? What are you up to today? Oh, I'm just giving a little advice, you know, on my dating. You're giving advice about dating? Yeah. Didn't I give you some good advice? Well, you told me to be with someone that travels all the time so I don't have to see them. Well, that's good advice. I'll go. I'll go. Go ahead. This is it. Operation Get Back at Tide. But Mama. Hi. Hi. Speak. Hey, please. Uh, can I tell her who's at the door? No, ma'am, you can't. You just bring her to the door, though. Okay. I'll go. No. They asked for me, didn't they? Well, hey, how you doing? I'm great, Faye. How are you? Well, I'm great. Why don't you come outside for a second? Who in the hell is it to know her? I don't know. Well, I know who you are, and you don't know who I am. Seems you disappointed a couple of my friends up in Metropolis. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of a problem with $30,000. Oh, Lord of mercy. So, we have one or two options. Okay. Either somebody writes me a check, or I'm going to take something. Whether it be one of your nice little vehicles here. But I'll Hi, can I help you with something? Money. No, can I help you with something? I don't know, because my conversation's with Faye, and you don't look like Faye. So why don't you turn your ass around and walk yourself back inside? How about that? You, get off, get off of my property. What? Either you write me a check, what is, he, who is he, what is he here for? Bitch, you ain't gonna take nothing out of my ass. I can assure you of that. Well, I got you. I got you. What the f are you talking about? You got me. I got you. <laughs> are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> We had got him. I mean, we had actually uh, pulled one over on him. Uh, okay. Where the hell did Mama even find that guy? We hired him. He's an actor. You're not the only one with resources. <laughs> we pranked you so good. He almost punched somebody. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> well, you had me arrested, and so I got you. <laughs> You were one of the shadiest 72-year-old women I've ever well, met. Well, what about what you did to me? You are, you was breaking the law. Uh, yeah, whatever. I can't believe we actually pulled this prank off. Lord, I feel like I won the jackpot. 